Alright, what is going on guys? This is your boy the Death Smasher and I'm back with a brief uh, topic that I wanted to talk about that no one in the BBS community has actually talked about, but I honestly feel like human killers are going to become a thing in the near future. Now, of course, right now, human killers, right now, it's one of the worst killers out there in the game. It's basically a boss killer that he's only affected against human bosses when you get to the end of a raid. And it's even worse than Captain and Espada killers because you only do 20% damage to them instead of 40% uh, like you do towards a Captain or an Espada. So it's pretty bad and human killers itself are not even used in PvP. However, Can't Fear Your Own World Part 4 did introduce two new sets of mobs. And that is where I feel like this whole discussion is actually going to become a thing in the future. I don't know. Things can change, but don't expect anything. But anyways, in Can't Fear Own World Part 4, we got these two new sets of mobs being the Execution Agolites, and of course, Hikone Zanpakuto being in uh, different fragments. Like, hold on, let me just go ahead and get all the way over there. Hold on. Like, we have these kind of uh, mobs, which are, of course are no affiliation. I already tested that out with Hikone. And, of course... We have the Execution at Agolites here, which right now are the only types of mobs we have right now in the game. However, they're not no affiliation units as we thought, or well, more or less as I thought. They're actually human units. Well, human mobs, or whatever. And to prove that, we're going to be bringing um, a team that is with human killers and one that is a no affiliation killer. And none of these characters are equipped to anything. They have no accessories, no links. So this is all just to prove the fact that human killers will work against these type of mobs. Even though these type of mobs, I feel like they're not fully ready for hard content considering we only have one type and they all have range guard, which is going to be pretty annoying. So I feel like K-Lab is going to implement more of these types of execution mobs in the near future, maybe. I hope they do because they did it with the Zanpakuto uh, Rebellion uh, arc story mobs. So, oh my god, just switching to characters. Just to prove it's uh, it's not no affiliation. There we go. We only did uh, uh, attribute typing advantage. Now, if we switch to Orihime, you guys see this shit? This is literally the damage we do when running a typical Soul Reaper or a Ronker Killer or even a Hollow Killer into a raid. We have killer advantage with human killers. I am hoping this does become a thing because if it is a thing, I am going to link slot this uh, swimsuit Orihime for real. Because I like her moveset, but the killer is just what hinders her so damn much. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Do you guys think this thing will become a thing where it's not just bosses or we can use the human killer on? Let me know in the comment section below because this is really interesting. I hope Caleb actually implements this in the near future, but for now, I'm going to keep my expectations low because... Look, I'll say this, even no affiliation killer is actually better than human killer because there is a bit of content even though it's not enough as compared to Soul Reaper, Aronker, or Holo Killer where we can actually use them on multiple inheritance zones, droplet zones, and whatnot. But maybe with the co-op revamp, we're bound to see new types of inheritance zones, new types of droplet zones that include brand new no affiliation mobs and actual human mobs. Let's just hope this happens in the near future. But anyways, this was a really nice and short video. This has been your boy, The Vast Master. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends and family. And I'm out. Peace out, lads. Thank you guys for watching this video.